Well, bless the Lord, O oh my soul, and all that is in within me. Bless his holy and mighty name. I am so delighted to be here today in your presence, knowing that I am a son of the living God, one who was bought by his blood, hallelujah, and redeemed from my transgressions as long as I allow myself to be covered under the shadow of the Almighty. The, of the Almighty. I am Reverend Pastor Richard Steve Mitchell. And I come to you letting you know that God loves you. And not only God loves you, but all those who are called and receive him according to the spirit of Jesus Christ. He said, there are many individuals are out there that are saying, who are we to judge? Should we judge anyone? But let me tell you, my friend, the word of God has called us into preaching the gospel undiluted word of God the inspired word of Jesus Christ or of God to a nation and a sick dying world and these words come to tell you that if you do not have Jesus in your life you are doomed you are condemned and those are very serious condemning words are judgmental words so yes we are called to judge this world in which we live in and in so saying i would say many times an individual or individuals will say to us as christian that we do not have the right to make judgment on anything or anyone. One person who was in this lime in the limelight as it is pertaining to the world stage is Tupac. Tupac was a world renowned rapper from the United States of America. One who threw out his lyrics without any compromise or reservation not caring who may want to protest is sometimes raw or rare mix he just wanted the world to know that what he thinks of the world which he lived in especially the gangster lifestyle he had endorsed and one of the famous quote of his song is titled only God can judge and he you will now final find others who are embracing that quote we therefore fail to overstand that God speaks through people. At first he inspired man through his spirit to and to and in doing. So we therefore now have the Holy Bible, Biblos, or we can just say the book without the book we today would have and have no reference to draw from because most of all our laws comes from the Bible which we gather our moral rules or values in the book of 1 Corinthians 6, verse 1 through 9, we can read what God would have us to, to do as it is concerning making judgment and why it is not far for us to take our shortcoming to the world. Dare any of you having a matter against another go to the law before the unjust 
and not before the saints? Do he not know that the saints shall judge the world, and if the world shall be be judged by you, are you unworthy to judge the smallest matter? So you see right there, my brothers and my sisters, God has called us to be mediators or judges of situation that happens within our current and immediate world. So we do not need to say to anybody that we are not called to judge. Yes, we are called to judge the world and we are called also to make decisions amongst each other. That's the greatest court that is set up is the church of Jesus Christ. The church that hails from the inspired word of God. Hallelujah. Know he not that we shall judge angels? How much more things that pertains to this life? If then he have judgment on things pertaining to life, set them to judge who are least esteemed in the church. I speak to your shame, my brothers and my sisters, as Paul continues to say. Is it so that there is not a wise man among you? No, not one that shall be able to judge between his brother, but, but brothers go it to law with matters and that before the unbelievers. Now therefore there is utterly fault among you. Because he go to the law one with the other, why do he not rather take wrong? Why do he not rather suffer yourself to be defrauded? Nay, he do wrong and defrauded, and that your brother know he not that the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of God. God, but not deceived, neither fornicators, nor idolaters, nor adulterers, nor um, infortunates, nor abusers of themselves with mankind. Upon reading this, we will now know how a better understanding why we should not be afraid to us for us not to be afraid of the word of God to establish our position on that behavior that will come cause God to frown upon us. We should at all times, my friends, be at the place where can where can we where we can say this is my beloved son in whom I'm well pleased. See God is pleased when we exhibited the word and the thing and the characteristic of himself. We need not to be intimidated by what the world wants to say. We know that the world does not want to be judged by God's people or by his word. And you need to remember we are a vessel, hallelujah, which carries the Holy Spirit. And when the Holy Spirit gives utterance, we therefore need to speak what thus says the Lord our God, who is King of kings and Lord of lords of all created things. In spite of their belief as human beings, we need not to be uh, withhold the word of God. Why? Because the word of God said we should not quicken the spirit. And when we therefore quicken the spirit, we fail and we, 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 we cause a condemnations up on ourselves. So let us not condemn ourselves. Let's bring forth what thus says the God and let it does what it has been 
sent to accomplish because God said his word will not come back unto him void. So my friends, I beseech each and every one of you today who are called by the spirit of the living God, who is Jehovah Rohi, hallelujah, God the good shepherd. So I beseech you right now and I say take heed and I will see you soon in the near future. You take care and know that I love you, but not only I love you, God loves you even more than you can even imagine. Amen. Good night for now.